Hello to the people, my name is Robert and I'll show you how to create a QR code for a website link, any social media or just in general any website. You'll be able to change the color of the QR code, add your logo and at the end I'll show you how to track if somebody scans the QR code. Everything I'll show you is totally free. Take sweat punch. Let's start by going to this URL www.qrcode-monkey.com. I'll leave a direct link in the description too. On this page, you'll notice you have a few different options. So you have the URL option if you're linking to your website, but you also have text, email, phone, SMS, and so on. There's quite a lot of different options here. Cool ones like you can share, for example, contact details with the QR code. If somebody scans that QR code, they'll just directly download the contact details so they don't need to fill in your name and phone number and so on. So let's start by adding a URL here. So I'll go to my website and I'll grab the URL of the page I want uh, people to land once they scan the QR code and I'll enter the URL here. I'll paste it just in here. You could also enable statistics and editability, but that's a premium feature. So if you're interested in that, just keep in mind that it's possible. So then let's set some colors to this one because black is a bit boring. So I'm going to keep it to single color and I'm going to choose something else like red uh, maybe i'll go with the blue something like this or you could just enter directly the hex code uh if you know if you have a brand color already now to see the changes here we just need to click on the create qr code and it's going to generate a new one like that now it's blue all right looks good like that then i can add a logo for example you could just go with the social media icons here so youtube if i generate the qr code again you can see the youtube logo will be in the middle but actually you can also upload your own. So if I choose this one, so now I need to create the QR code here again, and you can see that my logo appears there. So super cool thing. Then you can also customize the design a little bit. You can add a bit different body shape. So let's try that. If you generate it, you can see the, the squares inside the QR code change a little bit. It doesn't change anything else except aesthetics. So you can play around with these. I'm gonna just keep it to this one. And you can also change the iframe shape. So if I change it to this kind of a uh, thought bubble, create, you can see these change. And same thing, I can change the uh, eyeball itself. Let's generate it, you can see. So now both of them are in this shape. Now, once you're happy with everything, I will download it in PNG and also SVG. Now, right now it's set to thousand by thousand. If you need a big one, just download it like that. So you can see here, if I download this PNG, it's going to generate the QR code and save it in your files. You can see it here. If I now click on it, you can see it's a huge image and it's saved it nicely like this. Now, if you want to place this outdoors, then I would also download the SVG and use that because it's a vector file and it will scale up to as big as you want. So there's no limit on that one. Let's test the QR code with a real phone. So if I use my phone to scan the code, you can see it shows me a link to go to this URL. And if I tap on it, it will go to my website. In case your phone is not recognizing the QR code by default, check the video description for a tutorial how to enable it on iPhones or Androids. Now, obviously, once you place this QR code somewhere, you might want to know how many people actually use it. For that, you have a few different options. So first option is to use the premium service from QR code Bunky. And that way you'll be able to just uh, see how many people scan your QR code. But there's also a few different ways you can go around that. You could use a URL shortener like Bitly to actually just uh, use it for statistics. So you enter a Bitly link into the QR code and then it will redirect from Bitly to your website. Or if it's your website and you're using Google Analytics, you could use the UTM parameters that are already default in Google Analytics. So how you do that is this website. I'll leave a link in the description and then you just enter your page URL. Then you can add a campaign source. I'm gonna just add here QR code and campaign medium as well. And then the campaign name in this case for me is summer sale leaflet. So this way I know where people came from. And once you're happy with all of these settings, you can just come here, grab this URL. So copy, copy it. And now I could come here and place it as, a, as a, the URL. You can see it adds a lot of parameters here at the end of your URL, but that's how it's supposed to be. Now I can generate the QR code again. And if I use this QR code and somebody scans it and comes to my website, I'll be able to see in Google Analytics this. 
So I'm here on my phone and I'm gonna scan this code. You can see it now I can open Safari. It goes to my website like this. It looks completely normal to the user, but then if I show you how it looks like in GA, it looks like this. So if you're in Google Analytics and in real time and traffic sources, you'll see that you have the QR code now here. I just landed there. It's in the last 30 minutes. That's why it shows up here. And then later on, you can also see it in the acquisition campaigns and then all campaigns. You'll be able to later on uh, filter out the QR code here. Right now it doesn't appear because it's too early still. Since you've created your first QR code now, you need to make sure that you make a good first impression when people land on your website. And the easiest way to do that is to use high quality images. I'll show you my favorite free websites in this video right here.